Hey guys, what's up? Nico here. And in this video, I 3D printed Jamie Lannister's hand. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, what's up? Um, so here is a completed painted hand of Jamie. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Um, and this is just one of those things that I just wanted to make. Um, so let's not waste time. Let's go straight to the slice and show you guys how I did it. Um, there's two versions. This one is not being done painted. Um, for those of you who have giant mitts, like a baseball mat, a baseball glove, um, this one has uh, where the bottom palm comes off, so it's easier for you to put on. Um, and there's one if you want to just have it for display like this. So we're going to do both parts, um, both times in the slicer, so let's get right on that. All right, so um, this is how we're going to do the, uh, the supports on this. Um, we are going to do these two, move it right in the center. Um, the bottom is not flat to the bed, okay? So we're going to want something underneath it. Um, this is sufficient. We just want something that's going to touch the bed and let us create this um, space where it can print. Um, same with the other one. Now, the rest of it does not really need uh, supports. I just put supports underneath where this part is. Um, so you're... The, a cover for your hand can directly go right there. Um, if you plan on using this just for a display, you can just put some E6000 right there and then, you know, glue it up. But the rest of the model does not need um, supports. It'll support, uh, it'll <laughs> print perfectly fine without it. So let's go ahead and take this to the printer. Obviously, it's always going to be in 0 0.2 millimeter layer height. Um, I'm using S3D right here, so just do prepare to print, and then it'll do its thing. You're going to save it, put it on the printer. I'm going to be using a CR10 S4 for this, as usual. Um, I like it. it. It's easy to use, and it's going to go now. All right, so I cut it a little bit. There it is. Um, I'm using a raft. Please use a raft for this for your supports to have something also to grab onto. I'm using a lot of rafts lately for my prints. Um, and this says it's going to take 23 hours. That is totally bogus. It's probably going to take more like 36. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on a printer and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. And that's it guys, super easy for the slicer for this one. Um, I use, again, Uncle Jesse's Got Another Great PLA by Ziltek. Um, link to the stuff is down below. And I just used um, a gold, um, you can mix it from the, uh, from the store, from Home Depot. And just store it in these mason jars when you use your critter gun. Um, that way you just, you know, you rinse and you swap out, it's super fast. Um, and when you do that, you can actually get uh, more accurate with the colors if you have it pre-mixed and, and it's cheaper it's like five bucks for a, uh, a can of spray paint and you just get more from um, from mixing it yourself because you get like a, a quart and you just get more paint uh, more value for your dollar right anyway so that's it you guys if you guys like this video please 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 give me a thumbs up subscribe links are down below um, Make sure you guys follow us and join us in our Facebook group, 3D Printed Armor of Weapon Props. Um, if you guys also uh, would be so kind, I have a Patreon where you guys get monthly files and other cool stuff and discounts from the shop. The uh, files for this, by the way, is also in the link down below. I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Peace. This is actually really cool. Like, it fits my hand perfectly. So... Yeah, grab the file, guys. This is dope. Just like a display piece. Peace.